What is up guys? Welcome back for another episode of the R35 GTR build. You notice I'm already very, very dirty. The car is off of the lift. We actually already finished the car. And looking back through some of the clips of the video, I accidentally deleted the intro to this video. So I am now here adjusting the suspension a little bit because we kind of slammed it a little bit too much. But welcome back to another episode of the R35 GTR build. Today we have something very, very exciting that I've been waiting for for a very long time, the suspension. Today we're gonna be installing the Fortune Auto coilovers onto the GTR. The Fortune Auto coilovers are hand built specifically for this GTR. As you guys all know, Fortune Auto is a huge supporter of the channel and I have them on pretty much every single one of my cars. What I like about them so much is they are extremely high quality. Actually, they are one of the best suspension companies that you can have for your car. Every set that you order is handmade for you. So for me specifically, I got Fortune Auto 500 series with these Swift Springs, 14K in the front and 10K in the rear. They are gonna ride and look amazing. I actually haven't even really driven the car yet. I only took it off the lift and I'm adjusting some stuff because like I said, we slammed it pretty much, but it's awesome. Sorry I couldn't show you guys more for the intro, but sit back, relax, and enjoy today's amazing video. Okay, we've got the wheels off and what we're looking at right now is the stock suspension right here is connected to the lower control arm right here. But in order to slide this, if you guys can see, this piece out right here from the lower control arm, it looks like it looks like we have to actually remove the axle to slide it through because it's not gonna fit over the axle. So that's why this is pretty scary. But I mean, we gotta do what we gotta do and we're gonna send it and figure it out as we go. So first off, we're gonna remove this axle bolt right here and try and hammer out the axle. but it's kind of stuck. <laughs> this, this bolt, this bolt, and then the three bolts on top. I think this is gonna be a lot easier than what I thought it was gonna be. Woo! All right, so I didn't show you a lot because we were kind of like figuring things out, but uh, we went ahead and took off the upper control arm bolt right here, as you can see. We took out the axle. Now down here, let's see, you can get kind of a little bit of a better view of the, uh, the stock suspension connecting to the lower control arm down there. Go ahead and get those bolts off, and I think we may be able to get this coilover out. This is Mitsubishi part right here. That's weird. <laughs> now looking at the top so we can actually get this uh, suspension piece out. We have three 14s up top. One thing that does worry me though is that we do have electronic suspension on the GTR. So when you put it into R mode, it does change the dampening, which the new suspension does not have. I think we may throw a code. I don't know if it throws a code or it just like disables it altogether, but um, it looks like the plug for the suspension is right here. So I think when we take it out, we just have to literally unplug it from here and that's what we do. Good news for up top, we got the four, our, these are actually ended up being 12 millimeter bolts out of the top hat. And we also got the suspension plug unplugged and Maverick is working getting the lower control arm bolt out down here. strut is out of the car. This was a pain in the butt. Damn, I'm stoked, dude. That's awesome. Okay, so first suspension piece is out. Let's go ahead and read up on how to actually preload the Fortune Auto suspension and set my ride height. They say we need to have one fourth inch of preload is required for the front suspension on the GTR. So one fourth inch. Cool, so we're gonna go ahead and adjust the suspension now, set everything so we're good to go, and go ahead and try and throw this one back in. In order to prevent the spring from moving, where where you tighten the actual ring right here, there's an Allen bolt which you can lock down so like and make sure to keep everything stable and nice. So it's ready to go ahead and slide into the GTR. Here is the stock suspension right now, which is actually a very, very nice suspension. As you can see, it's the Bilstein suspension. But here is Fortune Auto. It's already one inch lower than the stock suspension is right now. Stock Fortune Auto. Ok, 
okay? Plastic coverings back on up top. The coilover is now nice and secured inside of the car. One coilover completely finished out, which is pretty insane. I am stoked. So next up, we basically just have to follow that entire process on the other side. Okay, we already measured the preload and the height on the passenger side, so we're good to go there. We just have to go ahead and remove um, basically everything up top and the suspension itself. So, it's been a little while since the last update. Unfortunately, the passenger side definitely was not as forgiving as, as the driver's side. When taking off the upper control arm and the lower control arm, uh, we, actually, we actually noticed that both of the bolts were stripped and we had to run to the hardware store uh, to try and find some repla replacement bolts. We called Nissan, Nissan didn't have them in stock, we had to order them, but we were gonna see if we could go to the hardware store and try and find some replacements. We got some, we actually got the stock suspension out finally after it was just like really stuck for some reason. We put the new Fortune Auto coilover in and realized that the bolts that we got from the hardware store don't fit. So unfortunately, we can't use the OEM bolts because they're stripped and now we can't even use the bolts that we got from the hardware store because those don't fit, which kind of makes sense, I guess. So we're kind of at a standstill. Maverick actually had to leave to go to work. Um, the front coilover is in, thankfully, but uh, we can't really do anything with this for right now. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, since Maverick's not here and we have to continue this tomorrow, is the rear suspension. Now, the rear suspension, I don't understand why they had this, uh, why they thought this was a good idea, but you actually have to remove the entire rear interior of the GTR in order to access the top mount bolt. Since Maverick's not here and we can't continue until tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and remove as much of the interior as I can right now, just in preparation for tomorrow morning. waiting to get back to the shop, I'm gonna to interrupt today's video to give a big thank you to today's video sponsor, Octane. Octane is an app to help you connect with car enthusiasts just like you. This app lets you know about different events that are happening around you and around the country. You can see markers of the different events all over your area, and if you zoom out, you can see them all over the country. You can even click on an event and RSVP with one of your own cars. These events are listed all over the country and it is very easy to scroll around and check all of them out. You can even add events hosted by yourself or someone else. So you can basically create your own car show, list it up and have people roll in. There's even a My Garage feature where you can showcase your own cars and give mod lists and details about all of your different cars. I've listed three of my cars so far and I'll be adding the rest. The coolest thing is when you RSVP your car to an event, people can see who has RSVP'd and check out their build, which is really cool. This is a really awesome app and I have created my own event on the Octane app. So you can head to the first link in the description, download the Octane app and actually RSVP your own car to my event. It's super awesome and super helpful if you're trying to meet other car enthusiasts in your area and trying to find meets around you. This is a perfect app for you guys. So like I said, click the first link in the description and download the Octane app and enjoy. Good news, welcome back to day two of the video. We got the bolts that we needed. The passenger side front coilover is complete. We are now moving on to the back of the car. Maverick is inside the car pulling the rest of the interior off that I didn't do last night. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start pu pulling off the rear suspension while he does the interior. Shouldn't be too bad. It should be smooth sailing from here. Uh, let's try it out. So for the rear suspension, it seems pretty easy. You just have the fork right here, which, which connects to the knuckle right here. It looks like you don't really have to take anything else off, but I could be wrong. I'm gonna go ahead and try, uh, get this one out and move on to the rest. All right, I got it out. Bolt is out, now we just have to figure out how to get the top hat off. Now that I got the bolts out of the suspension, I'm gonna go ahead and help Maverick with the interior of the car. This is a lot of unnecessary work to get to the top hats, but what you gotta do. So on the interior of the car, you, like I said last night, you literally have to remove the entire rear interior of the car. So all the panels on the driver's side have been pulled off for pulling off the back carpeting. Then once the back carpeting is finally off, the top hat should be right there, hopefully. Oh, did you get it? There, do it. Okay. <laughs> 
after all of that, we just had two clips in here that we had to take out. So now, according to the forum, we remove this, I guess there's a sound deadening right here. And top hats. Now we just have to get in here, loosen those up, and I think we They're can just, just yeah, I think we just nope. drop it. That's already loose down here. Yeah. Boom. I think so. Let's go. Okay. So since we got this side out, we might as well just go ahead and get the other side out, just to have them both out at the same time. We can get the Fortune Auto suspension, measure everything, line it up perfectly, and then throw it all back in. That was way easier than I expected. So hopefully. Other side goes just as easy. Try away. Uh, bro, so easy. Second suspension piece is out. Let's go ahead and use the Fortune Autos now. All right, we just set the preload and height for the Fortune Auto suspension. You can see right here is the stock and here is the Fortune Auto. We have lowered it probably about two inches, I would say. An eyeball two inch. Yeah, an eyeball two inch, which is what we did for the front as well. So here is the stock and here is the Fortuna. Let's go ahead and throw them. The last coilover is officially in. We just gotta get a bolt or a nut for this bolt right here and GTR coilover suspension install success. All four coilovers are put in, are put into the GTR now and tightened up. They look incredible. I'm super excited to see how the Swift Springs feel. Focus. Oh, there we go. So nice. All right, I'm very excited to see how the Swift Springs feel. Um, the fronts actually look really, really low, so I'm kind of nervous. We have both of the wheels on over here. Yeah, this car, I think the front may be just a little bit too low. The back looks pretty good, but Honestly, like I said, we won't really know until we lower the car all the way down. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of the wheels on. We'll put this thing on the ground. Let's see how she looks lowered. Maverick had to leave, so I'm, I'm gonna finish the job by myself. Let's get it done. Okay, all of the wheels are on. I just have the car up in the air so I can kind of inspect and make sure everything is correctly tightened on the car. It's crazy when this car gets lower, how much camber it actually adds. Definitely in the front and a lot in the rear. Pretty awesome, pretty crazy, but it looks like everything, oh, looks like everything is tight on this car and it's ready to come down. It'll put some blocks because if it's already too low when it's stock, it's gonna be way too low now that we actually lowered it. So I am so excited to see what this is about to look like. Moment of truth, people. <laughs> Dude, oh my god, dude, it is so perfect. Look at that stock wheels. It's just tucking the tire right here and then in the rear and see what it looks like outside so we can get a better look at the entire car. But so far, <laughs> oh, this is so good. Look at it. Oh my god, perfect. Okay, let's check it out. Let's just hope that I can get off these blocks without scraping anything. And I don't think I'm gonna have too much luck. Let's try it. Yeah, a lot lower than I expected, but it looks freaking amazing. Oh my god. All right. You guys can see it better once you pull it once we pull it out of the garage. I am beyond hyped right now. Oh my god. Oh 
My God. This thing is insane. That is so... Honestly, I didn't mean to make it that low, but now that I'm that low, I literally, I am just too in love. It looks so unbelievably good. <laughs> it's in direct sunlight, so I need to get it in a better spot of lighting for you guys, but we're gonna go drive around, make sure there's no noises while driving around and just do a little test. So far, so good. Oh, we have some rubbing. But so far, so good. No knocking. I'm definitely rubbing though. Ah, uh, now, I can imagine all of you in the comments right now commenting about how much of an idiot I am to have an R35 and slam it so much that it scrapes. That was the old me. I am now a mature adult, everybody, and to be honest, I don't want this car to scrape and I don't want this thing to be too low, so, I made the mature decision to come back into the garage and we actually are gonna raise the car. I raised both front sides an inch so that we're not gonna have, we're not gonna be extremely low in the front and it'll closer match to the rear. Also, there shouldn't be any more rubbing. I really, really don't want this car to rub, especially with stock wheels and tires. Not a good idea. So hopefully I went ahead and matched these up perfectly so that when I drop this car, I won't have to readjust again. But like I said, I adjusted the suspension. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the wheels back on and we're gonna see um, how it matches up. Let's hope that this pays off and I don't have to readjust again. All right, now for round two. Let's go ahead. Let's see. This time, there should be no rubbing. Another cool thing to note is, even though that we even though we unplugged all the electronic suspension parts, there's no check engine light, there's no codes thrown, which is really good. Okay, good news. No rubbage issues here. Oh yeah, we're back, baby. We are good to go. Let's go stop by Tej's shop and see what he's doing. All right, Tej, ready for the, the test drive of the coils? You're just trying to rub in the fact that you have a GTR That's and I don't. Exactly what uh, I'm doing. Please be careful right, right here. Right this here? is the gnarliest. Fuck yeah, you yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for those of you who don't know, there's a spot in this whole entire complex that has the worst angle ever. Like the worst dip ever. And you could have avoided it and he's like, hmm, we're low. Are we getting rub right here? That's a good tester for future reference. Sure. Oh. You're about to be really jealous, brother. Thanks, okay, hey, things we're noticing, no knocking, no unnecessary. Do, how nice are these? Do yeah, you feel I that? That's nice. that. I was expecting a little like stiff rebound or a little something on that dip. Swift springs, brother. It was pretty good, it was pretty good. Please angle here. That's what I'm doing, brother. I'm just saying, I'm fearful for you. you oh! would, why would you go so fast? Why would you go so fast? I'm not used to it. Dude, oh my, you took that. I'm like, wow, he's really going fast. He's going to break late. <laughs> why Why would you do that? Okay, you just going to... Yes, Dud, it's very fast. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Uh, wow. That got my heart racing. Hey. It's just so good. We're just, we're a solid group of friends in this car. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Oh, that's in my trunk. What are you slapping around in the back? It, he's like, oh, he's like, oh, that's just crap in my trunk. <laughs> we're good. All the work was, was well, well worth it. This is a nice camera. Okay, in front of this guy, are you kidding me? All right, we'll go a little further. Let's see what, okay, so our mode doesn't, I wonder if I can even launch it, because the R thing. Uh, great oh, question. You're gonna try it out. I don't know. Oh! Oh! Uh, yep. Okay, yep, it works. Yep, still launches, yep. Does it work? Yep, it works. All right, hey, we're good. You're a misbehaved <laughs> child. You got in trouble when you were younger. I feel it. Okay, slow angle. Yeet. You scraped. A what? little baby scraped. You, you scraped. Low life. Low, low life dabs. <laughs> Woo, all right. Have they seen your car yet? 
No. It's nice. When is this video This is airing? gonna go up tomorrow. I can't, want you, I want you all it. to know. What are you doing? It's nice. It Test drive was also very, very successful. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video with a little walk around so you guys can see exactly the ride height of the car. In my opinion, this is the absolute best ride height for the car with stock wheels. The reason I don't have wheels yet is because I actually ordered my wheels, but they're coming from Japan and they're gonna have a 12 week build time. But even when I get the wheels in though, I still can't put them on because they are made for my body kit, which has a five month wait time. So like I said, I'm gonna try and do power mods to this right now until I get all, all of my cosmetics in. I wanna do everything with the R35 exactly how I imagined it with this car and I don't want to take any shortcuts and so far that's exactly what we have done with, with every mod so far on this car. The car looks amazing. We lowered it just perfect enough to where it tucks a little bit of the tire in the front, a little bit of the tire in the rear. All four corners are matched thankfully. I had to work at that but we got it done perfect. Quick walk around and that's the GTR. Okay. Wow, it got dark so fast. All right, I want to give a huge thank you to Fortune Auto for getting these coilovers out. They ride amazing, they feel amazing, and I cannot wait to spend some more time with them. I'm I was very, very surprised on the initial drive on how smooth these were. For being coilovers, they felt stock, maybe even better than stock, which is awesome. So if you guys want to get your own set of Fortune Auto coilovers, head to the link in the description, go check out the site, and see what they can do for you. I hope you guys are seriously hyped on what's to come. 2020 is going to be an insane, insane year year i cannot wait not only for the 32 the 35 but a special car incoming that uh you guys don't really know about yet that i'm very very excited for but like i said we do have a body kit we do have wheels and a couple of other things coming in for the gtr but it's all from japan they are handmade built to order which is why it gets, it, it, which is why it's gonna take a few months for everything to come in, but I promise you the wait is going to be worth it. I'm gonna try and do full bolt-ons onto the GTR, as much power as I can do without actually like building the motor, because I still want this to be a reliable everyday driver car, so we'll see how that goes. I am so excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, because it really does help me out. Also, if you are subscribed, go ahead and turn on the little bell down below for post notifications so that you are notified every time I post a new video. I promise it will be worth it. The next video is going to be so good. I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.